Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Real Hazardous. Today we're starting a series about vacationing in the Florida Keys. Uh, we've been going down for years, pretty much every year I've been alive so far, uh, we've been going down to the Keys. Uh, many years, over 30 years. So we got a lot of experience and we got some tips that we can share with you um, through all facets of this vacation. And today we're gonna be focusing on finding a place to stay. The Keys is kind of a big place uh, lengthwise. It's a, a narrow strip of small islands. It starts, you know, at the very tip of Florida, southern tip of Florida with Key Largo, and it goes all the way down to Key West. A lot of times you say the Florida Keys, people think Key West, but there are a lot of places to stay in between Key Largo and Key West. Um, most of which I prefer over Key West just because it's a little more peaceful, a little more relaxed, not as busy, not as crowded, stuff like that. So here we go, um, thinking about what kind of a place you want. First off, you need to decide how big of a place do you need? There are a lot of options out there and there are different types of places to stay. You can go to a campground and camp. If you've got an RV, you can take it down there. You can stay in like places um, kind of along, you know, just the islands on the coast and they usually have a dock and a place to moor your boat up or you can go to some places that are, you know, little houses or duplexes on canals and you basically have a dock can park your boat right there. Lately, we've been staying at a place like this and it's got a canal, you can drive your boat, park your boat right at your house, makes things really easy. You know, your boat's safe, you know, if storm's not gonna come up and, you know, wash your boat away, <laughs> been there before. So it's a little safer having your place at a canal. Also, at these kinds of houses, they have nice things that we have found very useful, such as washer and dryer, you know, different amenities like bait cleaning station, a little more privacy, things like that. So, and those are things you're gonna wanna keep in mind. Are you bringing a boat to the Keys or will you rent one while you're down there? Um, a lot of the Keys is water time. I mean, keep in mind, a lot of times it's like there's a highway and you're like, okay, there's the Gulf of Mexico and there's the Atlantic. There's just water everywhere which is great if you love swimming, fishing, diving, boating, stuff like that. So keep in mind, do you have dock space? Make sure you have plenty of space for your boat. If you look up the specifications on your boat, a lot of times they'll give a number, like it might be called the 250cc, but then there'll be a number that says LOA, which is length overall. And that will include like a bracket at the back of your boat, or maybe a pulpit for your anchor, whatever the case is, that'll be the total length of your hull then you're probably gonna wanna add at least a couple feet if you have outboard motors. So make sure you have all that included so you know if you're getting a place with a big enough dock space. Now, when you're looking for places to keep in mind, if you're gonna have a boat, you're also gonna have to put your trailer somewhere. Some places have enough space and you can keep the trailer you know, at wherever you're staying, but you may need to store your trailer somewhere else. Sometimes, the booking place you go through may have an option to keep it. Sometimes you might have to pay to keep it somewhere. Some of the places I've seen have charged $50 per week. But yeah, keep in mind how big of a place you want and how many bedrooms you'll need, how many bedrooms, bathrooms, stuff like that. How many cars you can keep there, how many people can stay there. Also, other things to keep in mind, if you are fishing, diving, lobstering, um, you might wanna look at, does your place have a fish cleaning station? Does it have a bait cooler, a freezer, you know, things like that. All right, so you have an idea of what you want. Now, where are you gonna find said dream vacation place at? Well, there's a couple places you can look at. Some are like VRBO or Vacasa. These are different kind of vacation booking places. And you can see, you know, different houses, duplexes, places to stay all throughout the Keys. Now, here's a tip. You're going through and you're looking at all these places. Keep in mind, the prices they show you don't include everything. And some of these places have quite a few different fees that can add up. You know, you've got service fees, booking fees, cleaning fees, reservation fees. Sometimes if you bring pets, there's a pet fee. And then let's not forget Florida Keys tax, which is 12 and percent. And keep in mind, you're gonna have to put a deposit down on your place depending on how much the place is, but a lot of times, uh, I would say for your average, it could be around $500. As long as you don't trash the place, you'll get it back. So be sure to take care of this. Remember this is someone's home that they're probably renting out. 
Besides VRBO and Picasa, you can also book through Realty sometimes. Some of these Realty places also do that. And sometimes we found that there are less of these little fees when you go through the Realty. Another tip for you, be sure to check multiple sites um, because VRBO, Vacasa, all of them, all the different ones, they could have the same house on it, but at different prices. We've seen this before. Um, for whatever reason, one place will have it cheaper than the other. So if you can find the same place, you know, obviously go with the cheaper option. Then what you're gonna, gonna look at is the cancellation policy. You know, COVID's been kind of crazy lately. Hopefully we're done with that. But one thing I know we're not done with is hurricanes. If you book during hurricane season, well, there's a chance that that could come through during your vacation. Most places do have it where if, you know, the state calls for an evacuation, obviously you'll get your money back for those days that, you know, you had to evacuate. But, you know, be familiar with the policy because there could be other reasons you may need to cancel and you need to know where you stand, you know, if you get your money back or not. So there's all kinds of places to stay. You know, you can go Middle Keys, like Marathon, just north of that out of the Murata. North of that is Key Largo, and then you go south of it all the way down to Key West. Um, all sorts of different places. There are some areas meant more for tourism, I guess you could say. Um, for example, there's a place like Key Colony Beach. It's kind of like its own mini city inside Marathon. Now, if you go to a place like this, keep in mind they could have their own special rules. For example, in Key Colony, you can only have one boat per dock. Now, obviously, if it's a duplex, each side gets their own, you know, boat per dock. But you can't have multiple boats or stack boats side by side. Uh, they'll get you for that. <laughs> you know, they're pretty particular. They have rules about trailers, uh, one trailer per property. And the problem with that is even if you have a dock space, the people who own the house could keep their boat there on a trailer when they're not there. So even though you have dock space, doesn't guarantee that you'll have a place to put your trailer. Typically the trailer has to be kept a certain distance from the road. So um, depending on how much of a front yard you have or how big of a trailer have, um, it could mean that you need to find another place to store your trailer while you're vacationing. They also have different rules about like trash and recyclables. You have to take it out on a certain day. When you're down there and you're getting ready to leave, there are certain things you'll need to do um, with the house, you know, you can't leave dirty stuff everywhere, dirty sheets, dirty towels. Depending on what days you're going, you know, you can't just leave a lot of trash in the can. Sometimes you have to take them out or, you know, you're limited to a certain amount. Now, all this information will be in your rental agreement. So just make sure to read that thoroughly and have a good understanding for, you know, what you're going to have to do. Another thing to keep in mind, Places, especially like Kikani, there's a lot of them that book only Saturday to Saturday. Some places there are that you can book pretty much anytime if you want to do Sunday to Sunday, Tuesday to Tuesday, whatever. But just uh, be aware that some places only do Saturday to Saturday. And if you've been to the Keys before and can think of anything, by all means, um, comment below, let us know. Thanks for watching the video. If you guys have any questions about your trip, I'll be happy to answer it. Uh, like, subscribe, comment if you have any suggestions. Watch our other real hazardous videos, fishing, hunting, diving, and fun stuff. So stay tuned and we'll see you next time.